Hello guys and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a personal assistant its name is Friday Friday you can also rename it as Jarvis as I've done in this programs so let's see how it works Good afternoon boss I am Friday how may I help you listening how are you Recognizing. Just doing my thing. Next command. Boss. Listening. How are you? Recognizing. Just doing my thing. Next command. Boss. Listening. Play some music. Recognizing. Searching. Got it. Wikipedia says, To play some music is the first single released by the American rock group Journey. It originally appeared as the fourth track on the band's eponymous 1975 debut album. Next command. Boss. Listening. Where is mainland China? Recognizing. Hold on boss, I will show you where mainland is. So it took us to the Google Chrome, showing where mainland China is. So Google Maps. So mainland China. Oh, look at this. There are, it's showing us. Mainland China, yeah, so it's good, working good. So let us try again. Good afternoon, boss. I am Friday. How may I help you? Listening. What is the temperature today in Pune, Maharashtra, India? Recognizing. Searching. Got it. Wikipedia says. Next command. Boss. Listening. How are you? Recognizing. I am nice and full of energy. Next command. Boss. Listening. Where is Asta Pathology Laboratory? Recognizing. Hold on, boss. I will show you where Asta is. Yeah, so this is quite the program. So now we are gonna make it. So let's make a new thing. Name it Friday.py. So and now let's open it. Open it. Yeah, so this is it. We have opened it. So, first, what you have to do is to import everything we need. So, we need to import PYTTSX library. Then, we need to import uh, web browser. Web, B R O W S E R. Web browser. 
then we need to import the SMTP LIB with smart MTP lib smart library then we have to import the random then we have to import speech recognition speech underscore recognition then we have to import okay so we have to import speech recognition as sr so after we do that after we do that we have to from time time module we have to import c time after that import wiki area after that we have to import or do we have to import yeah i think we have to import date time also so for date and the time showing so we have to import date time after that we have to import wolf from alpha then we have to import the os then we have to the last thing we have to import is this s system then leave one line we have to give the, the name to engine so engine equals to pytdsx3 dot i n i t look so control save there's a problem over here speech underscore recognition let's see there should be a problem here because I have not trained as a speech recognition. I have named it as speech recognition. I have renamed it as you can see in the video. Control S. So by TTSX3. Then uh, we have to, what you have to do is in INIT, there will be SAPI5. After that, leave a line. Then we we'll set the client. So what? Client equals to wolf from alpha. Wolf from alpha. Let me check the spelling. Wolf from alpha. Yeah. Dot client. So see its capital. Then you have to enter the app ID. So the app ID, there will there is a suggestion here. You check that. So how to get app ID from Wolfram Alpha? Then you will enter. Client leave one space after leaving the space type voices you have to select the voice engine so engine this so engine this is engine right here engine dot get property so we are great getting the property get p capital get property in bracket voices after that engine dot set property engine dot set property we have to set in the property here it will be voice the voice comma 
voices comma voices and over here it will be which voice you have to set if you have to set the lady voice you will give one if you have to set the man men voice you have to give zero so i will give one as friday is lady so dot id id yes after giving that enter so now what you have to do is you have to define def speak so what is speak speak we have to what you have to speak you have to speak the audio so now uh, no, double colon then then you have to do print so print function prints it's on the screen then print friday so what friday is saying we get it here friday plus 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 is right here plus audio so audio is right here so friday plus audio so after friday plus audio then engine dot say engine dot say audio so engine will say the audio so engine dot run and wait dot run and wait w and a capital then this so what def speak function is ready so we'll click the arrow which will minimize the speak function then enter enter and the 25th line we'll so the so friday should greet us so we'll type greet me the function greet me double colon then so it will greet us good day good morning good afternoon good evening so we have to set the time for it so it will be the current r so c u r r e n t current h current r is equals to i n t so int value date time dot date time dot now now after now you have to give brackets dot r so we need the r so dot r after that we have to if current r is more than or equal to zero and current r is less than 12 dot dot if current r is less than 12 speak speak good so to make it a bit good good morning after good morning we have to give an exclam good morning comma boss so friday should give us some respect for that it's boss so now we have to give another if statement so now it's if the current r is less than or uh, more than or equal to zero so it's uh, so if it's like after 12 midnight and before 12 afternoon then say good morning before 12 in the afternoon so if current r is is more than or equal to 12 so we said less now more than or equal to 12 and sorry and current oh sorry. 
current R is less than is less than what time should we set so say 6 so it will be 18 so less than 18 then speak so it will be afternoon so speak good afternoon good afternoon comma boss then another statement so if current r is more than or equal to 18 or equal to 18 and current r is less than what time should we set current r is uh, okay so exclamation mark equal to zero then speak you have to not print you have to speak speak good wait good let's make it a bit formal good Akash. then speak good good evening so that's pretty much the greet me function good evening boss it should respect us again evening oh shit what's wrong with it yeah. evening come up boss Python shell is open somehow, I don't know. So we'll enter it. Uh, now that's pretty much the greet me function, I think so. So now done. So now we have to the Friday has to greet us. So yep, type greet me and then this. So let's try that. Let's try that. So play. It takes time pretty much, I think. Good afternoon, boss. That's it. So the time now is 16.39. As you can see, so it's 4.39. So it said, good afternoon. Well, then we have created the greet me function. So now speak. So it will speak now that I am Friday. I am Friday. It should tell who he is. He or she is. So I am Friday. I am Friday. So it will say go. Good morning, boss. I am Friday. Then speak. Speak. How may I help you? How? Come on. How may may I help help you? may I help you after that my command so it will take a command for me so let's leave three spaces here then say define my command so to define my command now so let's set R 
so r equals to sr dot recognizer look the spelling of recognizer is no wait i have only done it wrong so the spelling of recognizer is capital r and then e c o g n i z e r capital r e c o g n i z e r then we have to brackets then with so with s with sr touch microphone so again m is capital microphone double bracket sr dot microphone as source so sr dot microphone which enables the microphone is our source okay so double quotes then speak so it will speak listening so we will get to know that it is now listening to us let's make the first letter capital first letter is all this capital and give three dots so it will show it more clearly speak more clearly yeah so after that what command comes is now in the r dot pause so we will pause the sr recognizer as it has already taken the command then threshold it's just a library named threshold threshold then equals to one so we have to pause one time so then audio so audio equals to r dot listen r dot listen source so source is the microphone we have to listen to the microphone so now this is such a complex program that we should put it under the try function so we have to try whether it is working or not so try will be query so the query is the r dot recognize r dot recognize underscore google so google we will recognize it from google so as you know google is the most trustable thing we can take because it has already created one application named google assistant which recognizes it and will give the language what should we give so i stay in india so i'll give it as english india you can give it as english us english uk etc so but i give english india so then speak recognize recognizing dot 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 three times so it speaks it clearly then we will do that print print the print what he has heard so print what you have heard what sr dot recognizer has heard so to say you said dot dot then we'll give plus query so what's query what you have typed here so plus query plus slash n so what slash n 
flash in is uh, how the query is or in the format of the query so print you said plus this so let's to try try this and then after try we have to accept if this try is failed so we'll type the accept command so accept accept dot dot okay sorry dot dot then you'll click enter no wait accept then we have to give the sr unknown value error so if it's an unknown value so u capital unknown value error value error unknown value error so what's uh, unknown value error if it's an unknown value what it will do it's we are typing so speak if it's an unknown value it will speak sorry boss comma sorry boss exclamation I didn't get that I did not get that and then exclamation mark then what you'll do is copy paste this again then copy no wait let's do something else so what we'll do is try typing the command speak try typing the command so after that what will yeah so after this try typing the command so we have to type query query q u e r y query equals to string str input input in bracket command so c capital command so we have to type the command here so after that we have to return the query so let's make it the line uh, return query on 58 suppose return query should be in this line up here oh let's leave one more space make it look neat so now we have to define a function so now we have to define a function named as send email so send email so in send email we have to name it so in this we have to type to to and uh, command then we have to type the server smart lib dot smip smtp sorry And we have to 
type the mail address for that which is smtp dot gmail dot com comma 587 which is the error code after that you have to type server dot e h l o l o then after that server dot start startless then after that server dot login bracket then I'll type so you type your mail then comma you have to type your password so your password so I recommend you to not to use your mail you use daily because I cannot guarantee you safety of this but uh, you, what you have to do is have to go on Google and then let's get go to my different account. Yeah, so over here you have to type what gmail account security so let me see what's there i forgot okay so you have to over here you have to type less secure apps so typing that i love less secure apps into your gmail account after that it will take you to a page you can read there and allow the apps you can also create a new email if you want because I don't guarantee you that it is safe so yeah so now after server that login then uh, we have to log into our gmail I said that so after that chapter 2 is server dot send me so server dot send mail in bracket then you have to enter your email comma then you have to do two server dot close In bracket your bracket complete so now you have to if which if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to main I mean underscore underscore main underscore underscore also okay, so double columns then you have to type while true
got that. While two, then you have to type query. So we'll type it after some line. So query equals to my command. Sorry, query equals to my command in bracket bracket complete. So now after that you have to type query equals to query dot lower. So it will turn every alphabet into small alphabet. So if so we start the main code here. So if the it is equals to open YouTube, then inquiry. So inquiry if it is equals to open YouTube. So query is query dot lower now. So it speak opening. YouTube and then web browser so which is your web default web browser dot open so your default web browser will open the link www dot youtube dot com so now done. So if you speak now, open YouTube, it will open. So now elif. We have to type many statements, so I'm using elif. Open Google. Open Google inquiry. So if it is open Google inquiry, then then speak opening. Google and then web browser dot open in bracket www dot google dot co dot in so Google India so then we have to over here also System dot exit s y s dot exit because then it will keep running and you'll get disturbed during your YouTube what you have to do on YouTube. So here also type the same command which is sys dot exit. Now another elif statement elif. So elif what's up t slash s up what's up inquiry or how are you in oh shit sorry in query dot dot oh, sorry support how are you in query then uh, you have to like random choices msg s so messages are First one is just doing my thing. So wait, let me make it a bit good. Just doing my thing. Then comma. I am fine. Comma. I am wait. I am 
five, comma, nice, nice, eight, comma, I am. So now after that, speak, speak, so we have to make it speak random, so that's what we have random, we have imported random for, so look here, random, import random, that's why we have imported random, so now, speak random, after that, Okay, so not speak random, so it will be speak random dot choice. And of course, which choice? The choice is sent messages. So, yeah. So, the choice, yeah. So, this is also completed. So, now, elif email me. Query but that try so we have to try because emailing is a quite a great task so we have to again try it so speak what should I send send then the content the content will be my command. What I, I give the command. So now two equals to or no? Okay, so uh, I'll not input. So I'll say your mail. And so now send email in bracket. Two comma content. So this is the content. My command. The content is my command. Then speak. So if the email is sent, it will speak. Email sent. So there's a try, so we have to accept. The dot speak. So we have to speak now. If it if the tries fail, then speak. Sorry, boss. There was an issue sending the email with my mail system. then done email function is done so now it's the main function is done so what should else will be type so okay so we want to exit Jarvis if you want so a if okay so let's first make the time so a if what is the time what is the time in query? What is the time in query? Then speak. So that's why we have imported the from time we have imported C time. So for this only. And okay. So we have imported the date time for the greet me function. And the C time for the what is the time function? So we have to speak, then we have to speak the time is 
then speak again speak c time so what is the time so it will speak the time current time and we cannot do anything for that we cannot change the time of course time is precious so now sometimes people try and say hello so hello hello Query speak hello boss so now I'm done well if hello is done now what else Okay, so we want to exit Friday. So we type a live bye. Say bye. Let's not say bye because it will be you why sometimes. Okay, so let's type uh, thanks. Thanks inquiry. Then say bye, sir. So we have to say bye, sir. So speak bye, boss. Have a good day. After that, system dot exit. Dot exit. Then Elif. Now, if we want to play the music, well, I don't have much music downloaded. So what I do is Amazon Music. So let's skip that part. So now let's say. Okay, so this is the main. So Elif, there is. So where is inquiry? So where is? Then you say the places name. Inquiry speak. Okay, so data. First, we'll say the data equals to query dot split so we have to split the query okay so let's make a space here for item to easily understand us and now we have to do a location location so location is data bracket 2 so the second line of the data and then speak speak what will speak it will say hold on boss comma I will Show you there and then the location so plus location then is so I'll show you where this is so if I say this so it will say okay hold on bus I'll show you where this is so let's take the URL for the Google Maps. So the URL is I've saved it https. Uh, I know that I mean https slash slash 
as you know www.google.nl I don't know what it is but it's in the map so maps are the copied it maps slash place slash and then the location so the location that we have said location plus oh said sorry location plus okay sorry here also we have a plus why because it should have a plus uh, yeah so plus then you have to complete it so it's right what can I do there's no and over here so let me copy it wait I made it here wait uh, the previously made code I just take and that thing from here Yeah, so slash and this thing, control C, control C, yeah, and here, control V, it's easy, yeah. So, I'll share the code with you, web browser dot open, the URL, the URL, system, dot exit things now else if nothing is fitting in your so we will say else remember we have started with the if statement yeah so if nothing is fitted in here then query you should be query equals to query and speak speak searching speak searching then three dots oh sorry three dots let me uh, do this thing okay, now wait yeah so after that now we have to try here now again try because of course if we fail, that's full of a problem, and our program will need to run. Then again, try. Cause there's a big portion of here. So you have to say res equals to client dot query in bracket query. So after that, we will print results. So client just from well, from Alma. So results. Results. Correct. Results equals to next. Oh sorry. Next. Res. Dot results. dot text okay close head text yeah speak bracket friday system so it's actually wolf from alpha so we'll say friday my system okay so my sis tim says then what it says we just said my system says what does it say but my system says what does it say Friday right, eh? yeah so wait speak results Okay, so let's just speak the results. It's pretty simple. So now try and accept if the error. So accept results. 
equals to now the results will search in Wikipedia. Wikipedia dot summary. Summary query dot comma send ten cents equals to two. Peak my Wikipedia because Wikipedia looks pretty much good than Wolfram Alpha. It's an unknown website. So Wikipedia says and then speak results. And it's done. Ah, then we have to accept if both is not working. So we have two tries here, remember. So accept web browser dot open. Open www dot Google.com Can't get the results. Speak. So we have to speak. Can't get get the Results in a system, comma, try searching on Google. Of course, Google is the best site, so Google. So now after that, what we'll do? Oh shit! Oh shit! What's wrong with this? Yeah. So after that, speak. Speak will be in a row here. Before accept, cause uh, I don't know. I don't know. Speak. Next command, boss. How may I help you? How? May I help you? Question mark. And that's pretty much the program in 140 lines. But so that's it. I'll share the program in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel, Tech Mine. Thanks.